Welcome to my fastest turnaround review so far. Today I'll be looking at the first defo reel from the Ultra franchise, Ultraman Zero. This figure is a Rick exclusive light up that was scheduled for October but got delayed a bit. Gotta love 2020, right? Why was Zero the first Ultra to get a defo reel? Because this year is his 10th anniversary celebration. Never mind that his debut movie came out in December 2009, but Japan does what Japan wants, and who are we gaijin to question it? I scripted this review the day I picked him up from the post office, and recording it two days after, so my impressions are pretty fresh. While not technically an accessory, Zero comes with a battery stand. Zero can stand without it, but he's pretty wobbly. It takes up a bit more space, but I, and I think anyone would, like to display him lit up. The stand itself requires two LR44 batteries to power the light. Printed on the stand, we have the Ultraman Zero label and his Ultra sign. Zero's sculpt is very good. Being a defo reel, his head is disproportionately large compared to the body. The detail is captured nicely, though there are quite a few seam lines around the arms and head. Overall, Ultraman Zero is painted very well. The colors are vibrant. However, there are a few flubs where colors hit each other on the sculpt lines. The protectors on the chest and arms appear to have a very sloppy paint job and don't look good up close. There are some dirty areas around the translucent spots detracting from the light-up effect. Though it's not part swapping per se, the way you attach Zero to the stand is via a hole in the bottom of his right foot. The connector on the stand comes with a cover for transport or storage. I'll leave a few size comparisons here. This is a figure I really loved out of the box, but the more I studied it, the more flaws I found. Overall, I do enjoy it, but it's underwhelming as the first Ultraman Defo Reel. Up really close, I find it hard to look at, but from a more standard distance of at least a couple feet, he does look pretty great. Get it if you really, really want it, but I'd recommend a price cap at $150. As for where you can buy it? That's a good question. I got mine from Awesome Collector, but the pre-order capped a while ago. 